We're inside the infamous Think Fast locker room where every paper boy is part of a pair and every ninja has a nutty brother. If you can match these crazy couples together, you can be a grand prize winner on... Oh, look! Here's the poop! Think Fast! Today on the gold team, it's Earl and Kim. And on the blue team, Craig and Kelly. And they're here to play Think Fast! The game where quickness counts and money mounts. And now, here's the host of Think Fast, Skip! Lucky! All right, welcome everybody. Welcome to Think Fast. How are you guys doing today out there? Let's hear it, audience. Yeah. Okay, great. You guys out there sound like you're doing good, and I hope everybody at home's doing well too. Let's go meet our players. On the gold team, we have Earl and Kim. Let's give it up for them. Earl tells me he loves video games and plays basketball. Earl, what would you like to do for a living? I like to be an engineer. An engineer? How come? Well, I hear it's good pay and it's, it looks easy to me. Yeah, it looks easy to you? An engineer looks easy? There's a lot of math involved with that. I We've know. got a math drill coming up real soon, so you'll get a chance to see how good that is. All right, and Kim lives on a farm, and she'd like to be a pharmacist. That doesn't have anything to do with living on a farm, does it? No. No, well, do you have any animals on your farm? Yeah. What, what do you have? A horse, dogs, cows. You have chickens. Cow, chickens. You have any, anything kind of interesting? Like, do you have any anything other than a dog, cow? Yeah, you know, all the good stuff that that you would see on a, on a farm, right? Right. Okay. Well, good luck. And on the blue team, we have Craig and Kelly. Let's say hi to them. Come on. <laughs> Craig loves to watch football. He's really into football. And and what, what you want to play professional football sometime? For what team is that? The Chicago Bears. Uh, he's yep. a big Bears fan. <laughs> Okay, and I understand you do a quick impression. Who would that be? Of Larry on the Bob Newhart show. Well, let's see that. Hi, I'm Larry. This is my brother Daryl and my other brother Daryl. And we welcome you to another episode of Think Fast. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, let's hear it for him. Yeah. yeah. And Kelly loves to water ski. She goes hunting and is a cheerleader for her school football team. So uh, what kind of skiing do you what water ski? Do you, do you slalom? You do two skis? Both. How long? Was it tough to learn how to slow them? Not really. Oh, of course it's not that hard. So let's welcome our teams. Let's hear it. Let's hear it for them. Here's how we play Think Fast. Our two teams will be competing in a variety of events that will challenge both their mental ability and their physical agility. If they win an event, they win cash. And most importantly, they get a shot at the Think Fast Brain Bender worth 200 bucks. The team with the most money at the end of the game gets to go on that mad dash for cash and prizes and face the ultimate challenge in the locker room. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go to our first event, which is called Mind Boggling. And what we have here is each team has a huge pile of uh, lettered cubes. And what they have to do is place them in these grids right here in a crisscrossing fashion to spell out as many words as they can. The team with the most words at the end wins. And in the event of a tie, the winner is determined by the team uh, that has the letters, that, that has the most letters used in, an ex in the accepted words. Okay, you ready? Let's put one minute on the clock. Ready? Think fast. Let's go to it. Oh, both teams think that, that knocking over the piles is the best way to find the letters. Let's give them a chance to spell. The blue team's doing a pretty good job there. They've got a number of words. Remember, guys, you can't use proper names. You can't use proper names, so don't make any proper names. They're working hard. Working hard. Let's see how the blue team's doing. They've got a number of words up there. Both struggling a little bit. 25 seconds, guys. 25 seconds. Keep going. Keep going. Lose a little stump. They think they, that's about all they can make, but they're going to continue. They're continuing. There we go. There we go. How we doing? Yellow's starting to catch up. Yellow's catching up. 10 seconds, guys. 10 seconds. Let's spell some words. Five, four, three, two, one. The blue team has won. It looks like the blue team has won. Let's see how many letters they spelled, though. The yellow team, the gold team has pain, and they have arc and car and uh, nor. And let's see. Let's scoot over here. Let's see what we've got. Scoot on over here. And we have uh, P-A. I'm not sure if that's a word. Cat, cool, dog, all, 
CDL, that's not a word, and Pakul there, and Aang, uh, and LT. All right, LT spelled backwards, Lawrence Taylor. Well, it looks like the blue is one. You guys win the 50 bucks. Come on down here. Let's go to the brain bender. Come on over here. Come on to me. Come on right here. Very good. Okay, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you the Think Fast Brain Mender, which is, which is worth 200 bucks this time, and it's a rebus puzzle. And a rebus puzzle is a phrase that's made up of pictures and words. A phrase made up of pictures and words. Let's take a look at it. Let's reveal a piece. Mmm, you have any idea what that is? A phrase that's made up of pictures and words. Any guess? Three seconds. Okay, no guess. Well, you guys still won the 50 bucks, which means blue is up on the gold team. 50 and gold is not on the board yet, but let's go play our next event. Come on over here. This next event is called Animal Crackers, and what we have up here is a game board, which we've got a bunch of words on. And in our bleachers, uh, we've got an assortment of animals. And what you guys have to do is you have to take the stuffed animals, and, uh, and you have to match them up with the words to help make an identifiable phrase, all right? For instance, if we had a blank, and then uh, we, we had the words back riding there, you would find a horse in the bleachers, and you put it up there, and it would equal horseback riding, okay? The first player to do them correctly or before the time runs out wins. Are you ready? Think fast. Go to it. They're going quick. They're going quick. They're jumping up there. I think they know what it is. I think they know what it is. They're working it out. How are they doing? How are they doing? Correct. There's some wrong up ones up here. Check them out. Check them out. Let's hear. Let's hear some encouragement. Let's, this, there's not. There's some wrong ones up here. I, I see a couple of wrong ones at least. Come on. There's some wrong. There's a couple of wrong ones. How we doing? How we doing? Does he know which one he thinks is wrong? He, he's got something. He's got an idea. He's looking for that phrase. What would that be? How we doing, judges? On time. How are we doing? They're still looking. They're still trying to check it out. Who wins? Blue wins! Blue wins! Now let's go and see which ones he had right. This is Ro uh, Roger. We were looking for rabbit. Roger Teddy Bear. No, that's not quite it. The Black Stallion. Bull Durham. I'm sorry? Oh, that is a rabbit. The judges tell me that's a rabbit. I didn't even know it was a rabbit. Okay. Got Roger Rabbit. They got the Black Stallion. Uh, Bull Durham, a barrel of monkeys is correct. This one, we were looking for kitty litter. And the last one is the cowardly lion. Okay, great. Blue, you win the 50 bucks. Come on over here. Good job. Good job. That rabbit. Did that. I'm sorry. I didn't even know that was a rabbit. I had that one wrong. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you the brain bender again. I want to remind you, it's a rebus puzzle. It's a phrase that's made up of pictures and words. Let's show the piece. Any idea what it is? No. No, no, no idea. Okay, no. great. Well, you guys, you won the 50 bucks, which means gold isn't on the board yet, and blue has 100. We have more events coming up, so let's go to them over this way. Our next event is called Paper Hangers, and what we have here are two walls that are in serious need of some decoration, and we also have some pieces of wallpaper that are cut out in some unique shapes, and we also have a couple of, uh, of uh, buckets full of wallpaper paste. And what you guys have to do is it's the first team to paper the wall by putting the shapes back in their proper places. The first team to put the shapes back in their proper places wins. Are you guys ready? Think fast! Go to it! They're rolling at it quickly. Oh, the gold team has the first piece up there. But blue's, blue's getting one. Blue got one up there quick, too. Gold has two. Blue's got two now. Oh, this is a really tight one. This is a close one. This is a close one. Oh, one of them, one of them fell off the blue. He didn't get enough paste on it. How are we doing? The gold team wins! The gold team is the winner! Very good! Come on down here, guys. Come on over here. Right here. No, come here. Come here. Come on over here, Earl. Right here. All right.
you guys won the 50 bucks, and you get a shot at looking at the Think Fast Brain Bender. It's a Rebus puzzle, all right? Let's show it. Let's reveal another piece. A phrase made up of pictures and words. Do you have any idea what it is? Three seconds. No idea. Okay, great. Well, the score is gold 50 and blue has 100. It's a tight game, and we're going to go away for a break. But when we come back, dollar values are doubled, so don't go anywhere. We're still anybody's game. All right, where'd it go, guys? Welcome back to Think Fast. I want to remind everybody what the score is. It's gold 50, blue 100. We have lots of events left. We still have the brain bender left. So it's still anybody's game. Anybody can win. And I want to remind everybody also that in round two, all dollar values are doubled. So that means each event now is now worth 100 bucks a piece. Okay, let's go to our first event in round two, which is called Math Drill. This event is called Math Drill, and each team has a grid with spinning blocks. On each block, there are a bunch of numbers. As we spin them around, you can see that they're numbers. What you guys have to do is turn the first three blocks in each row so that they add up to the last number, all right? It's the first one to get them all correctly totaled up, or to do it, the, the one that has the most totaled up before time runs out. Okay, you guys ready? You understand how to play this? Ready? Think fast! Let's go to it! Looks like, looks like Kim on the goal team is really, she's got, a, she's got a, an idea of what she's trying to do. How they doing? Blue team's got one. She's working on that second one. This game requires a lot of skill and concentration. It requires an amazing amount of concentration. It's not an easy one. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. The goal team, she's counting on her fingers over here. She's trying to figure out what, what the deal is. How are we doing? Let's hear it, audience. They're almost done. They're almost done. Uh, the judges aren't giving any indication. Uh, this was not right. There's still something that's not right. That one wasn't right. Uh, okay, time is up. Time is up. Uh, judges, uh, uh, well, let's see how they did. Let me see. Um, judges, who won here? Who won? This is, this is very tough to score. Oh! The judges tell me that the gold team won. All right, very good. Come on down here. Come on down here. Kim, you just won 100 bucks for your team, and, and the audience is really excited. <laughs> and you get a shot at the Brain Bender, which is a Rebus puzzle. Let's, let's take a look at it. Let's, let's show another piece. Mm, do you have, Kim, do you have any idea no. what that is? No idea. Okay. Well, that means the score is gold 150, blue 100. Let's go to our next event, right over here. Right over there to Sean. Hey, Skip, come on in the water. Alligators eat turtles, not game shows. Huh? I don't think so. Just go ahead and without me. Uh, hi, guys. Hey, dudes and uh, dudettes. This next game is called Life's a Beach. Because as you can see on our Think Fast stage here, what we've got is a whole lot of sand spread out. And what our team members have to do is, is stick the sand in our scales, and they just have to make the scales balance. So when one dude or dudette is sweeping, the other dude or dudette will be wielding that dustpan to try to scoop that sand as quick as they can. All right, if you go over the weight limit, you know, and, and some radical things start happening, these things just kind of get all out of whack and they go down, what you dudes and dudettes have to do is you have to scoop that out just to get it to weigh in that middle of that balance point. All right, so if you guys and, and gals are ready, let's go to it. Think fast. 
It looks like the dudes are scooping and the girls are doing the brushing. The girls are trying to brush as much sand as they can in those scoopers. And they're doing a darn good job at it, if you ask me. Oh, oh, it looks like the yellow team just had a blowout there and they just missed a whole, whole piece of, there they go. That chain spinning around and it's creating a little bit of a radical obstacle there for them. Our crowd here is really cheering them on. They really know who they want to win. Oh, it's getting close. It's getting pretty radically close here. Oh, this is an awesome game. This is an awesome game. There it goes. Blue, blue wins. The blue wins. Oh, this was so close. Gold, you were very close. But our judges said the blue wins, so come on down here. Yeah. Congratulations. Come on over here. You guys won 100 bucks for your team, and you get another shot at the Brain Bender, which is a Rebus puzzle. Let's take a look. All right, you guys and gals have, a, have, a, have, a, have an, uh, an idea of what it is. Three seconds. Okay, that was our, that was our uh, last event, and, and the score is now gold 150, blue 200. Since nobody's gotten our brain bender, we're going to sudden death. So come on and follow me over here. Come on over here. We got it, yeah. Come on behind there. Since nobody's gotten the, the brain bender yet, we're going to sudden death. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be revealing a clue one at a time. And as soon as you guys think you know, buzz in. You'll get a shot at it, okay? Let's show that Rebus puzzle. A phrase made up of pictures and words. Let's reveal another piece. Blue thinks they know. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Judges, is it who framed Roger Rabbit? Is it? Who? Yes, it is! Very good! You guys won the brain bender, which means the score is 400. Gold has 150. Blue is going to the locker room. Yes! Oh, this one was a tight game, a very tight game. It was coming down. It was coming right down to the wire. If you guys would have won that, you would have been going to the locker room. But you guys played a really good game, and Blue is really worn out there. Uh, so what I want to tell you guys is, as far as I'm concerned, nobody goes away empty-handed on Think Fast. So Henry J., tell them what they can get. For the gold team, we've got the incredible Franklin Spelling Ace makes spelling fast and fun with 80,000 words from Merriam-Webster, Franklin, world leader in handheld electronic reference products. And Converse, home of the Converse Kids Collection, including all-stars and leather athletic shoes. From shooting hoops to hanging out, the Converse Kids Collection is all you'll need. And now back to the quiz master himself. Hi, we're back, and these guys are getting ready to go to the locker room. And we'll be back after these messages for more Think Fast. Don't go away. You don't want to miss this. Come on, guys. Welcome back. We're here in the locker room with Craig and Kelly, and they have earned the right to go on that mad dash for cash and prizes. So, are you guys excited? Yeah? You ready to play? Okay, good. This is how we play. Behind me, we have 15 lockers, and inside these lockers are seven matching pairs. What we're going to do is give you one minute on the clock, and what you have to do is take turns matching up as many pairs as you possibly can in the allotted time. What happens is a locker door will open up, and whoever or whatever pops out, you've got to find the mate, all right? The first four matches are worth 100 bucks a piece, and the next three are worth these great prizes that Henry J. is going to tell us about right now. Craig and Kelly, you can ride off on the intrepid Columbia's Deluxe 18-speed ATV featuring the monostay frame, brazed on cable guides, easy cantilever brakes, quick-release seat post, water bottle, and great looks. Then, when you feel like jamming, there's the Yamaha Composer Kit featuring the PSR-6 keyboard with 100 instrument sounds and the DD-5 drum set with four touch-sensitive pads and the built-in speaker. And Craig and Kelly, if you make all seven matches, you're going to Space Camp, where you'll fly simulated space shuttle missions and train like a real astronaut. Get ready for Space Camp in Huntsville, Alabama or Cape Canaveral, Florida, a prize package that's out of this world. It sure sounds like it. Okay, they're excited. They're talking a little strategy here, but I want to remind you guys that inside one of these lockers is the dreaded red herring. The red herring is a character that has no match at all. So if you think you found him, I want you to run over here and grab the old herring handle, yank it down, which will close up the lockers and allow your partner to continue matching. Let's show the audience at home who the red herring is today. 
Okay, our audience at home knows who it is. All right, are you ready, Craig? Yeah. All right, let's have uh, one minute on the time clock, and let's open up a locker. Through an open door, a king has shown. Now go and find my match, you geek with head of bone. <laughs> okay, you're looking for one mean king there. All right, are you ready? Think fast! Find that king! Find the king! Faster, Craig! Faster! You kept going out of turn there. Turn around, turn around. You guys got three matches. Henry J, tell them what they won. Craig and Kelly, you each received $300 in cash. Congratulations. 300 bucks in cash. That's not too bad. You were having a little trouble going out of place there, but uh, you did a good job. You still each get 300 bucks in cash. This is Skip Lackey saying, remember, if you don't have time to think twice, think fast. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. is taped in front of a studio audience at Nickelodeon Studios live located at Universal Studios in Florida.